Want to listen to this video on the go? Head over to your favorite podcast platform such as Google Podcast, Anchor FM, and Spotify to listen to the audio of this video. Make sure to follow, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Much appreciated. Okay, so today we're going to continue the conversation about the royal family. Obviously, this is still a very, very hot topic. And today in particular, we're going to talk about, you know, people are talking about this notion of the royal family possibly being racist. But we're looking at it from another angle. Maybe they're not racist, but maybe we're dealing with favoritism here. Now we're going to look at this topic under the lens of uh, the bigger topic, the overall topic of this podcast slash video, which is the future of the royal family, arranged marriage. I am your co-host and I am joined by African auntie and uncle. There is an old African tradition, but very, very old. It is very outmoded that male, you know, uh, I mean, grown-ups, they were being, I mean, told which lady to marry. Their parents chose wives for them. Mm -hmm. You know, if the royal family, if they like, if you come to marry into the family and they like you, there will be no stories at all. Mm -hmm. But if they, the very moment they don't like you, then these stories will be going all over the place. Mm -hmm. You see, that is why I say it might not be racism because Diana was a white lady. Yeah. Yes, and she wasn't liked by the royal family. Mm -hmm. You know, she wasn't liked by the royal family. So the fact that Megan is a black person or a person of color, mm -hmm. that does not actually make it, oh, it is racism. No, mm -hmm. a white woman has been in that position and she had even more of this than Megan is having. Mm -hmm. That it led, I mean, we all know what happened to Lady Diana. Yeah. So if, if this thing is going to happen, then I will say, in future, all the male royals have to be given, you know, they, they, they have to be ready for arranged marriages. You know, mm. that the, 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 the head of the, mo uh, the monarchy, whoever is the head of the monarchy, mm. is going to say, you marry this person. And once they have selected that person for you, well, then there isn't, there isn't going to be any sort of a problem, you know, in future after the marriage has taken place. Wow. I don't that agree with that. <laughs> Why? I really don't. It will not work in this century mm -hmm. because times have changed. In the olden days, it will work. But now you can't force anybody to marry anybody. She says she, she doesn't agree with me. Mm -hmm. I am not saying that is what they have to do. Mm -hmm. Get me straight. What I'm saying is that the way things are going, at, at, it, it appears, I mean, they are sitting there pulling the strings. Mm -hmm. You know, in the olden days in Africa, old time Africa, you know, your parents will choose a wife for you. Mm -hmm. And if if that is done, they will, you, I mean, the, the person that, can, that is coming into the family will always be liked. Mm -hmm. I mean, history has shown us that those that I mean, those who ca came to marry into the royal family, that the, the king, the the prince and the queen liked, there wasn't any other, there wasn't any problem. Mm. If Harry married a white lady, divorced and went and married a person of color, that would have been a bombshell. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would have been an earthquake. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have been an earthquake. But I'm sure if, if, if let's say, the person that Harry ma ma married, mm -hmm. if it was a person that the, the, the head of the royal family liked, all these stories wouldn't have been there. Yeah. Prince Charles married Diana. Diana died. He went back to Kamala. Mm -hmm. And nobody, I mean, Harry couldn't have done that. Yeah. Harry couldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. So I can believe everything that he said during the interview. Mm -hmm. It is some sort of favoritism here. You don't you don't hear them treat the, the elder brother that way. No. You know, so that is real favoritism. Those who say it is it is uh, nepotism or it is uh, racism, they may have their reason for saying that. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. We are not saying there is no racism in the mix we are simply opening up the discussion that there sadly is another ism in the mix which nobody is talking about and we want to highlight the royal family needs a lot of work we hope that somehow all people involved in the negativity do better and that they can heal as a family 
you know so that is why i'm saying she was saying she doesn't agree with me yeah. i am not saying that is what is going to happen yeah but i i foresee mm -hmm. that if this thing continues in future they have to be i mean they have to be selecting wives and husbands for the royals mm -hmm. question does this still happen in the royal families in africa yeah, mm. certain certain Some areas. Certain, certain, certain areas, areas. Mm. It still happen. Certain areas because mm. uh, one country in South Africa, I know the the king, mm. he married every year. Yep. He's got about about twenty six wives. Um, every year there are you know young there girls, are young virgins. girls virgins wow. who will come and line up with their topless, mm -hmm. and uh, he'll be surrounded by his uh, you know kinsmen. And they would choose, hey, this one mm -hmm. is going to be the next wife. He's got about about uh, 20, 60, 30 wives. This is very interesting. I mean, obviously, we're talking about completely different cultures because this happens in not only the royal families in Africa, but also in some normal households in Africa. So it's, it's maybe a bit more normalized there. But then again, even if you look into uh, the, the royal family way back, is the same culture it's pretty, like that, much, yeah. pretty yeah. much you are married now, from royals to royals exactly you can take a wife from denmark or belgium or mm -hmm. all from the royal family mm -hmm. or the netherlands or anywhere yeah you know you can take a wife from me so and that's how you make sure that the person is going to be a royal, a royal. they have been born and brought up into mm -hmm. this because what you can really see with megan marco is that she's like this is not right and and Kate could have said the same thing, but you know the stiff upper lip. Some will follow that and and mm -hmm. just do that till the end, and some won't. And she's been one of the people who said nope. But she's not the only person. People, you know, there have been people that have married into the royal family that are like uh uh, this is not for me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what I'm thinking, if they do start eh, in the future, if they may make it arranged marriage, I don't think people are gonna stay mm -mm. because that that would be that would be terrible, and mm -hmm. we'll get a lot of whatever is it sarah exit uh mm -hmm. brenda exit mm -hmm. you'll get all that going on mm -hmm. because is it. <laughs> yeah well. look i think uh, harry deserves a lot of credit mm -hmm. for what he has been through mm -hmm. his whole life the yeah. boy was about 12, 12 13 when the mom died mm -hmm. that trauma yeah you know has been with him all mm -hmm. all his you know adult life yeah. from mm -hmm. when he was a, a small boy growing up up to his adult life. so going into this marriage and from day one i mean all this bombardment from left and right and center mm -hmm. i think he's been through a lot yeah and he deserves better mm -hmm. you know he really deserves better mm -hmm. uh, i'm not sitting here uh passing judgment no who am i to do that mm. but, but then i'm looking at i'm looking at it from outside you know i'm looking at it from outside looking at it very very critically mm. and drawing my conclusion that uh, he has actually not been treated fairly mm -mm. Mm -hmm. he has not been treated fairly nobody deserves to be treated that way no whatever we think about it if they're really so entrapped sometimes when you're in that kind of situation you, you don't know, even see the you know, good, good or bad. You know, you know. You're just living life. Yeah, yeah. You're t they're, they're just they're literally going through the motions. Probably, allegedly, supposedly, but I can very much imagine that they're in this life and they're not seeing anything wrong with it. And mm. they're just like, this is the life we're in, and that's how we're go we're just gonna have to live it. This I way. don't think most of them like it like that. Probably not. But yeah, then but again, but even some of us outsiders that are not in a royal family don't particularly like the directions of our lives i think that's just life in general, in general yeah. you know people will look at them and say oh they have all this money but then there's somebody else that doesn't have that money but still you know I'm very happy money yeah. and data can make you happy no you need love you know so I, 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 yeah i really i really don't know but it it, I, it has been a very very quiet Buckingham palace you don't hear uh, the elder brother William, he went to a school. Yep. Was he today, yeah. Today, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he was, you know, he was yes. being asked mm -hmm. whether he has called the brother. He said no, but he was, he was he contemplating on calling. What I'm asking is that. So why is it that nothing is happening to William and Kate, and it is only only Harry? Mm. You know, is is, and that is why I say, okay, uh, racism has got. A little bit to do with it, Possibly. but this is this is real favoritism. Mm -hmm. 
you know mm -hmm. if you are not favored by the queen's palace well you can expect anything and everything mm -hmm. they can they, i mean if i don't think if uh, if uh, william and kate decided to do what harry and megan have done i'm not sure they would have had the same treatment mm. and one mm. thing that harry said in that interview was that maybe it was his fault not to have not to have informed the queen earlier on mm -hmm. of his plans mm. before they just took off yeah you know but what he said one thing that he said that i've never forgotten was that he decided to choose a commonwealth country mm -hmm. i quite remember he mentioned australia mm -hmm. he mentioned south africa he yeah. went to canada he went he, he mentioned canada yeah. you know these were all countries which belong to the commonwealth yeah mm -hmm. so he said he, he wanted to settle there so that he can seek the queen's interest mm -hmm. as far as the commonwealth was concerned yeah mm -hmm. you know so it wasn't that he didn't he didn't want to have anything to do with the royal family mm -hmm. If they, if they had the support, he would have been there as an ambassador of mm -hmm. the Commonwealth. Yeah. Canada, and maybe he would be going to Australia, he would be going to, mm -hmm. you know, so that oh, was it. But because, because they don't like him, mm. they decided to withdraw all the protocols. Allegedly, mm. supposedly, but yeah, it's weird. Mm. You know, so 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 so. I mean, I don't I don't really know. Like I said, you know, there is there are two. Uh, how do you call it? Sides to every story. Mm -hmm. You know, I have never I have never heard the other side. Mm. But I don't think I need to. Mm. I don't think I need to because listening to listening to all the the the, the all what was said on that day. Mm. I'm not sure these two just came Saturday knowing that no, billions that. of people were listening mm -hmm. to lie no mm -hmm. but also silence is golden mm -hmm. yeah. so why are these people so silent they they put out a statement which will go into that in the next video slash podcast mm -hmm. but you know a, a statement of about 10 lines and then uh prince william is just doing his normal duties like it's a regular tuesday mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. nothing's wrong here and the interesting thing that he was in a school and when he came outside who was beside him a black woman dressed in african attire mm -hmm. <laughs> when that reporter asked have you been in contact with your brother or whatever the question was and the reporter was also bold enough because these british reporters they're super bold as we know was also bold enough to ask is the royal family racist and he said no no the royal family is very not racist or something to that effect mm. and i also think that he answered that obviously because there's a whole black woman standing next to him and mm. he, he had to say something like mm. you can't just let that slide mm. but for it to you know it would have just been easier if you put out a statement or they made a video or some eight hey, times have changed but for them to be silenced now they're going to be put in very awkward situations mm very very awkward and i think it would be best for them to clear their own name quote unquote if they want to because it's good to hear both sides then we can really make an opinion mm -hmm. so so if i may come in here why why uh, has the father decided to ostracize his own son, son. he doesn't even pick his his calls yeah he wasn't you know, he so wasn't. so yeah. so the the the, the favoritism issue has come in again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know the favoritism issue has come in again the, what the father did was worse than what harry has done harry hasn't yeah. even done anything mm -hmm. yeah he's a young guy a young gentleman trying to lead his life mm -hmm. you know trying to lead and his he life. realized that he wasn't favored mm. he realized that earlier and the wife was suffering so he has to take the woman away well but this is our take on this whole story mm -hmm. You see, this is our thing. They really need to shape up things because I think they are being admired. They are being admired all as a, one of the greatest institutions in the world. Mm -hmm. I did like them a lot. You know? yeah. I like them a lot. Yeah, but since yeah. the death of Diana and the stories that have been coming out, uh, they are losing popularity. We are all human. Mm -hmm. You know, we are human. And uh, I think every human being who is realistic will accept his fault if he does one mm -hmm. you know if something goes wrong okay i did it and i'm sorry mm -hmm. i don't see anything wrong with with what harry and megan did no. to deserve this treatment mm -hmm. they have gone through a lot yeah this is a young actress who left her career mm -hmm. 
married into the royal family and i think she they should have accepted i i, yeah. I thought it will change a lot yeah now there are people who see the royals differently mm -hmm. because they have accepted somebody who is not their color into their family mm -hmm. and that will make we the blacks too a bit happy Mm -hmm. All minorities, really. Minorities, People were like, yeah. wow, we can be president, we can be vice president, we, we can, can marry be, into a royal we family. We can marry into a royal family. It I is. mean, bl black people who are 100% black, who are not mixed, are looking at this whole situation saying, if it were me, that, that would have been, I mean, that would have been such a, you know, this is somebody who is mixed and is white passing. Mm -hmm. you know so it, it's like what's the big deal even if this if this is even such a big deal then we have not even reached we haven't Anywhere. even reached an inch mm -hmm. we have so may, much may further I, to go may i say something i think this is a missed opportunity for the royal family yeah mm -hmm. it is a big big missed opportunity because if megan were to be accepted mm -hmm. by the family mm -hmm. it would have r made their popularity rocketed yeah sky high yeah you know because oh that is a, the most famous family in the whole of this earth mm -hmm. and accepting a person of color mm -hmm. into the family oh this is wonderful mm -hmm. but they have let the opportunity slip by yeah so it is a missed opportunity it definitely so is. that is i that think is, most of them were thinking they didn't want anything to miss that blood yeah the blue blood the blue say. blood mm -hmm. yep yeah so yep. That's what it is. That's what it could be. <laughs> mm -mm. Allegedly, future of the royal family, arranged marriage. We don't know which way it's going to go. We might not see much change in our lifetime because change within the royal family and society in general has been going in in increments that are <laughs> unmeasurable. That is how small uh, or immeasurable. That's how small um, the change has been. But we hope that things do change. As for Harry and Meghan, they have exited themselves out of the royal family and we just hope that they can live their lives in peace. This is what happens when you entrap people. This is what happens when people feel entrapped. Even if you think you're not doing it, which is probably what they're thinking, mm -hmm. this is how they feel. And it is important, whether you're royal or not, to listen to how people are feeling and to listen to how you make people feel. We'll close with this, this famous quote by the great Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I hope that everybody realizes that as we, as we walk this earth, whatever you do to somebody, how you make that, them feel in that moment, that feeling, that emotion, that remembrance of that emotion will stay forever. And it is important to know and to learn how you're making people feel and to take that serious and not how you thought you made them feel how you taught you treated them extremely important i have been your co-host and you've been listening to african auntie and uncle react hope you enjoyed see you next time